Hi, it's Miss Denise, and I'm back to have some creative fun with you. For this, we're going to need some cornstarch and some water. And then we're also going to need a measuring cup. I have a one cup measuring cup and a spoon. And then something to mix it in, a bowl or a container, maybe one that you don't really care about that you can mix it in. So we're going to start off by measuring our cornstarch. This is a great thing to play outside because it can get messy and it, oh, <laughs> and it is um, a lot of fun to make, just something to feel and touch. I used to make it with my kids outside all the time in the summertime, but you can obviously do it inside too. So here's my container and I'm putting in one cup of cornstarch. And next, we're gonna add some water. Just a little bit. And we're gonna stir that up. Okay, we need some more. We wanna make a nice consistency can always add more cornstarch if you need to. Okay, it's going to take just a minute to mix this all together. Well, looks like we need some more water. Now in our story today, we read about dog's colorful day. I kind of wanted to um, make my, uh, I call it gack, but you can call it uh, slime or um, putty or whatever you'd like. I kind of wanted to make mine colorful. It is kind of hard to stir. I don't know if you can see. So I brought uh, with me today two colors. I brought a uh, blue and a red. Now, if we use the blue and the red, does anybody know what color we're going to make? It was a color that was on dog's ear. Yeah, purple. All right, so I got it pretty much mixed up, and you can see it's like a liquid, and then it's um, almost feels like a solid. Okay, so here is my food coloring. I have a blue and I have a red. Let's start with red. Put just a couple drops in. Oh, it kind of looks like the spots on dog. Can you see? Kind of looks like the spots on dog. There you go. And let's do blue. And let's see what happens when we mix those together. coming together. It is going to be a very light purple. Probably a little lighter than we saw on dog in the story. But 
but it's a lot of fun to mush it back and forth. Almost completely mixed. Okay. Let's see. We might need a little bit more cornstarch. I did bring some paper towels, which I do recommend when you're doing this because it could be a little bit messy. Paper towels. Oop, that was my dog making some noise. Let's try to add a little bit more cornstarch. Consistency you want is it to be almost like a solid. See how it's hard to push? It's kind of like what you want what we're really going for. Now, if you're older, you could probably do this yourself. But if you're younger, you might have to have your parents help you. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. See how it's liquidy? But yet, it's almost like a salad underneath. That's really what we want. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So it looks like it's wet, but then when you go to like pick it up, it's like salad, and then it turns into like gook. That's why I like to call it gack. So you can grab it with your hand but then it like runs through your hand. And this cleans up really easy because again, it's just cornstarch and water and a little bit of food coloring. So it's not gonna stain anything. And it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, a lot of times you use cornstarch for cleaning. Um, so it's really not gonna hurt anything. I wouldn't recommend eating it though because it's not gonna taste really good. So yeah, this is like a lot of fun to play with. Can you see how purple it came out? It's kind of hard to tell with the camera. Oh, I could do this forever. I love how it feels. So if you guys have any uh, dogs at home, I would love to see pictures of them. If you could post some pictures on our <laughs> Facebook page, so you can hear my dog. If you could post some pictures on our Facebook page of your dogs, I would love to see them. Or if you can draw me a picture of your dog and send it, that would be really cool. Does your dog have spots? Mine doesn't. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go. This was so much fun to make. And if you like this video, let me know. We can make some more together. <laughs> Bye, have a great day.